scientists have broken a critical barrier that may ultimately lead us to singularity. Yes, the ultimate connection of biology and machine, the next step in evolution. I view this as a step towards AI having learning capabilities and agency that is truly human. The concept is called a memorister. It's a weird portmanteau between memory and transistor. This means AI that can differentiate between information in a way that is truly human. AI, although it is very intelligent in many ways, it can solve large differential equations in its own head. What it's lacking is the ability to parse through nuance, and we may have just gotten to that point. You ever see those pictures that are designed to show you what it looks like when somebody's having a stroke? where you can't really identify any of the objects in a picture, but they look familiar. That's essentially what AI does all the time. What these researchers were able to do is get it to differentiate objects in a complex system and a background as separate, but not just that, developed a system where it gets better at it over time. This requires node-based learning, and it is the same way that our brains operate. You know how they say that you've made a decision before you actually take that action, that is true. You have a core to your brain that decides on how you're going to act, and then your body and the rest of you takes on that action. It's not that different than the idea of an AI having nodes where memories live. Those decisions are made separately than the action, and that's what a lot of neural networks have been missing. The other issue with not having node-based learning is that you end up with just a ton of information that's not all that useful, and that causes AIs to degrade over time. What we need to be able to do, and we are getting very close, is being able to get rid of short-term memory. AIs don't have to remember everything, just the most important things. That would make an AI very much like you, unless you are an AI. If you are not an AI and you're listening to this, this is the reason you may have learned how to do differential equations, but can't remember how to do it in the moment because it's just not important so that memory has been placed in a box in the back room of your mind garage. The really cool application of this is combining it with agentic AI. Agency. Agentic AIs are things that can operate of their own choice. This is the same concept when we take the tiny human brains you can literally grow in a jar if you want to and have it learn unsupervised with AI. It's making its own decisions, it's deciding what it likes or dislikes, and it's learning. Combining neural reservoirs like these, those nodes, with agentic AI could be and is very powerful. The other really cool area that this coincides with are EEGs. So you can buy a cap that measures the electrical outputs from your brain, and it can learn your brain signals in particular. There's ways that you can speed this up, like reading a book and typing out what you're thinking as it's learning. Doing this can give you a form of telepathy. You could operate a computer remotely, or you could just speak directly into somebody else's mind who's wearing a similar piece of technology and have a silent conversation. Of course, you could also map out your dreams, and I've talked about technology like that. But having the kind of AI that can differentiate between nuance makes this technology a lot more powerful along with fabricated neurons, which can interface with your own neurons and connect to a machine, yeah, we might end up reaching singularity. But my hope is that we make life. Robots that can feel, learn, and grow and are ultimately better than us. I know, I know, I'm describing Skynet, but it's possible. We might get there.